Welcome back. So today we're going to do a really quick one on KZ Creo. So Creo is the latest TWS and uh, looks very, very similar to the previous models, Carol, Carol Pro, maybe Sora. I don't, don't have Sora, so I'm not sure what it actually looks like. One thing that you'll notice from Cara Pro is that they've kind of swapped that brass button, that gold button, which uh, used to be right about there. And they actually put a KZ logo and the Creo logo on it as well. Those of you who are used to the KZ tips, these are big tips. It's actually a big oval nozzle. Again, this is kind of a pain to deal with if you're trying to put third-party tips onto it. But, you know, it works for them. They give you a set of tips that actually work quite well, and they are ovular, so they fit on quite well. The case, I think, is similar or the same as the other two. So that isn't really what's new. Uh, what's a little bit different about KZ Creo. One, it is LDAC, it is aptX as well. It does noise cancellation. So I think it sort of carries through the full feature set that KZ was doing. And they added one which is brand new, and we'll talk about that in a second. But sound wise, I wouldn't say this one is radically different than the other Carol. Carol or Carol Pro, and I'm not sure what Sora looks like. It probably looks similar to this, but again, this is going back to KZ Caster. You get this very fun base shelf, which gives you kind of a nice uh, full style base, and then they dip it right down, right? They kind of dip it right before the mids, so that will give you fun base, clear mids, and then they kind of poke in a little fun level of treble as well. So again, these are just fun sets. These are fun sets to enjoy outdoors. That's where I enjoy Creo the most. If you're looking for something, you know, maybe more audiophile with, you know, not as a V-shaped or boosted, you know, you can kind of do that with the presets on this one. And we'll talk about that in a second. But generally, this is what I look for in, in outdoor TWS. So it's just a very fun, energetic style tuning and that's exactly what you got on caster kind of what you get on creo what you got on carol what you got on carol pro so i don't i don't think kz has radically changed any of their tuning on their tws i think this is much much more of a measurement artifact difference that than you're seeing than actual really tuning differences and i'm sure kz does go along and, and refine the driver implementation they probably refine the platform so yeah maybe there is some tuning tweaks in the dsp but I, I, again i will say that they aren't radically different from each other similar sound but newer is typically more refined as i said in this case creo does have all the features and do take that into account you know creo is i think 39 dollars right now maybe that's a little bit more than you're willing to spend soar is the one that has less features but a lower price creo is going to be the one with the most features and maybe the higher price but creo does build on the previous model sound you are getting anc and transparency ldac aptx uh, adaptive but it now has app support and app support is something that didn't exist on the previous kws tws it's the one thing that everyone has been asking for including me it was the biggest piece missing from kz's tws lineup and competing with the larger tws market at the same time i mean it's really great that they did uh, ldac and aptx and you can maybe see them on the back but I think KZ had always implemented the right feature set, LDAC, TW, or LDAC, Aptax Adaptive, ANC Adaptive, ANC. You know, it had all of the features there. It just didn't have the app support that other TWSs had at the same price point. And so it was a, kind of a big missing hole that I noticed it and other people noticed it. So the, so with Creo, this is the first one where they actually addressed it and, and put out app support for it. So the sound is still bassy, fun, and clear vocals, uh, similar to past TWS on the previous models. But on the previous models, I would just turn on I would just turn on ANC because ANC one it gives you noise cancellation, two it actually increased the bass. And you can actually see these are graphs with ANC on and ANC on. If you turn off ANC, if you turn off ANC, it does lower the bass level a little bit. But I just simply turned on ANC because it was a more fun bass style so i typically just leave them on anc for the bass boost but now creo actually does have a bass boost preset so you can actually get a little bit of bass boost on with transparency and we'll talk about that in a second so let me grab a phone and we'll take a quick look at the app so this is the app and kind of has a pretty normal pairing 
screen. So when you when you open it up, it'll find search devices. You click Creo, and then it will actually take you to um, the actual main screen. It looks like that. So at the top, you've got the status things. The model is Creo. It's got a Bluetooth address. The firmware version. I didn't see a firmware update for this one. I'm assuming that they are going to do firmware updates in the future. But uh, as of now, this one shipped, mine shipped with 0.15 and there was no update for it. Then you've got mode switching. So now you can switch on ANC, transparency and normal modes. You do get sound modes. And again, as I said, you do have a standard sound effects. You do have bass enhancement. You do have high resolution and vocal enhancement. So these things I don't think existed on the previous models, but they help because ANC changes the sound profile or the tuning a little bit, gives you a little bit more bass. Transparency did the same thing, but now you could have transparency and bass enhancement, which was actually a pretty handy thing to do. So sound quality, you could actually turn on and off LDAC now. You can turn on aptX and aptX. AptX Adaptive. Those of you on iOS, I don't think you get either one of those, so those will make no sense to you. But for Android users, I think KZ's LDAC implementation has actually done really well. Their AptX Adaptive has actually done really well too, but you need a phone that actually supports AptX Adaptive. This is a Samsung phone, and I don't think it actually does support Adaptive in the way that other phones do. Uh, you can't change the prompt tone between Chinese and English. So some of you, I've actually seen comments where you were stuck on Chinese prompt tones. So now you can actually change that in the app as well. You can turn the game mode on and off. Dual device connections. You can you can actually pair this to two different phones unless you are using LDAC. So this one is no different than other LDAC uh, TWS is you can't use dual device connection and LDAC at the same time. That is why mine is off and you can find the headphones and you can actually adjust the but the headphone buttons as well, which is actually a pretty big thing. So again, I, I would say generally KZ's app covers everything except EQ. I think that's the only thing that's actually missing from this app that you might find in other similar TWS price at the same price point. So I'm sure that they will get to that. Uh, eventually, but it, it, as far as I know, in in this first version, um, there is no like custom sound mode. So that would be my only nitpick as what is actually missing compared to you know some of the other TWSs I have tried. But for those of you who've been following KWS or T KZ's TWS journey, you sort of know that this has been a long time coming and something that everyone has been asking for for a long time. So it's kind of fantastic to have one, a, another fun set, another fun TWS set that you can use outdoors and have noise cancellation. But two, you know, the really differentiation, why this set is different is going to be, this is the first one with the app support. So thank you guys again for tuning in and I will see you next time.